the entrance asked upon. As for me, in justice I shall behold your face. I shall be filled with the vision of your glory. Good morning. Today's Mass intentions are for Father Leo A. Meyer. <clears throat> in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Let's prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by pausing to call to mind our sins and asking God for mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. When Hezekiah was mortally ill, the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, came and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Put your house in order, for you are about to die. You shall not recover. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord, O Lord, Remember how faithful and wholeheartedly I conducted myself in your presence, doing what was pleasing to you. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah, Go tell Hezekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of your father David, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. In three days you shall go up to the Lord's temple. I will add 15 years to your life. I will rescue you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will be a shield to this city. Isaiah then ordered a poultice of figs to be taken and applied to the boil that he might recover. Then Ezekiah asked, what is the sign that I shall go up to the temple of the Lord? Isaiah answered, This will be the sign for you from the Lord, that he will do what he has promised. <clears throat> See, I will make the shadow cast by the sun on the stairway to the terrace of Ahaz, go back ten steps it has advanced. So the sun came back the ten steps it had advanced. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial song. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gate of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. Long, no longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. To save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and worn away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Those lives whom, whom the Lord protects, 
Yours is the life of my spirit. You have given me health and life. You see my life, O Lord, I shall have now. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry, and they, began, and they began to pick the heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry, how he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering, which neither he nor his companions, but only the priests, could lawfully eat? Or have you not read in the law on the Sabbath, the priests serving in the temple violate the, violate the Sabbath and are innocent? I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you know what, I, what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. You would not have condemned these innocent men. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our Gospel today, we're faced with a conundrum. The disciples are all hungry, so they pick some grain and eat it. That sounds pretty straightforward except that it's the Sabbath, and picking grain sounds suspiciously similar to harvesting, and that's work, which is forbidden on the Sabbath. Apparently, people could eat on the Sabbath, but couldn't do any work. What about the women cooking the meal? Could they do that? Could you eat as long as you, did not, as long as you didn't work for the meal on that day? Jesus shows historical precedent. When David and his men were hungry, they ate the blessed bread that only priests were allowed. Because they were hungry, the violation of that law was allowed. Human needs take precedence over the law. And what about priests? They work on the Sabbath, and they're not judged guilty by it. This is because their duty to the temple is more important than this law. And of course, Jesus as God is more important than the temple or the regulations. This is the precursor to stuff about healing on the Sabbath. It's the same idea, what constitutes work. Jesus says, says it a little later that if an animal wanders off or falls into a hole, the owner would go retrieve his lamb even if it were on the Sabbath, he wouldn't let his animal die. And aren't more people important, aren't important, I'm sorry, aren't people more important than animals? Should Jesus let someone die just because it's a Sabbath? Uh, should he let someone be lost to heaven just because it's a Sabbath and he couldn't work? Emergency workers can't take the time off just because it's a Sabbath. Sick or injured people can't wait until next week for care. In our gospel, Jesus shows us that there's sometimes reasons for breaking the rules. Life is more important than the following rules. Salvation is more important than following the rules. In the final analysis, 
Law was made for humanity, not humanity for the law. Figuring out what is meant for us in our everyday lives is not easy. Remember the call to repentance uh, means reevaluating our priorities, our values, and changing them if necessary. It would seem that one, sh one sure law that bears no exception is the, is the law of love, law of love of God and of neighbor. Recall St. Augustine's famous praise, love and do what you will. It, as I prepared the, the homily for this morning, I thought about us today in the coronavirus uh, environment. There's still a dispensation from, attend, uh, from the requirement of atten attending weekly mass that's in effect, a dispensation by the archbishop. That basically is a change of the law from what we're accustomed to, and it's based on the health of, of each of you and, and the people of our, our faith. Um, that's another example in today's world where this gospel comes into effect. We have to remember that we should obey the law, but the law isn't the ultimate. It's, it's the living out um, the gospel, living out in love of God and neighbor that, that should guide our actions. Amen. Let us come before the Lord to bring our prayers and needs. For the church drawn from all nations and languages, may the Lord look graciously upon us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who participate in the legislative process, may God bless their efforts to protect life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick, May Christ the healer bring the healing touch to their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here in love and faith, may God's love dwell in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they take their place at the eternal feast in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for the repose of the soul of Stephen Bassett, who will be uh, buried here. His funeral mass will be here later this morning. For his eternal rest and the consolation of his family and friends, we pray to the Lord. And now our prayer for protection and healing from coronavirus, and then our family prayer. Lord Jesus, you travel through, through towns, towns and villages, villages curing every disease and illness. Come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus, may they regain their strength and health. Bring those who have died with the virus to eternal peace. Protect doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals as they help the sick. Guide researchers to develop a vaccine. Be with leaders of nations. Give them wisdom to act with true concern for their people. Stay by our side in this time of uncertainty, anxiety, and sorrow. Grant us your peace. We praise in your most holy name, Jesus, for you are our loving and healing Lord. Our Lady of Prompt Saint Joseph, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Rock, and Saint Rosalie, pray for us. Loving and faithful God, through the years the people of our archdiocese have appreciated the prayers and love of Our Lady of Prompt in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, Father and Mary, our mother, and ask you to help us in the battle of today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom that we may build a community founded on the values of Jesus, which gives respect to the life and dignity of all people. Bless the parents as they may form their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may be peacemakers of our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice of life and human dignity in our community. We ask this through Christ.
Christ our Lord, our Lady of Prom Succor, hasten to help us. Mother Henry and Toledo, pray for us that we may be a holy family. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of your church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we profess with living faith, his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, his fellow bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest for her young. By your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God, blessed are they who dwell in your house forever singing your praise. Amen.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The funeral this morning will be at 10.30 a.m., so uh, please leave all the lights on and doors unlocked. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in each other. Thanks be to God. Have a great weekend. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the Lord of souls. Amen.